Sawate Omnes, this is Luke, and here's my screencast for Caesar's De Bello Gallico, Book 5, Chapter 35. So, to start off with, some background on this passage and what's been going on before here. So the Romans have decided to leave their um, winter camps on the, kind of, on the bad advice of Ambiorix, because he's trying to lure them into a trap. So they've left their camps at this point, and they're just about being, they're just beginning to be attacked by the uh, enemy who's been uh, waiting for them to arrive because they knew that they were going to try and run away. So the enemy sees how large a group of Romans it is and thinks it's the best strategy is just to kind of to hurl javelins at them. So the Romans are kind of clustering together and uh, using their numbers as a strength. And uh, Cotta is in the middle of everything. He's remained their leader through this whole thing, even though he had a fight with uh, um, yeah, the other guy earlier. So, which command, and this is referring to like the military commands to of, about what formation, so which command, having been observed most diligently by them, and this is a related action clause, when any cohort uh, had gone out from the circle and made an attack, the enemies fled most swiftly. Meanwhile, it had been necessary uh, that that part, that part, be exposed and weapons received from the open side. So this is just kind of talking about the uh, formations that are going on in this battle right now. So, on the contrary, when um, they had started, they had begun to return uh, into that place from which they had marched out, or gone out, and, or, th and they were encircled by those who had yielded, and by those who stood near. But if However, they wished uh, to keep or to hold their place, and this whole clause here is a uh, a um a conditional. Um. So, but if, however, they wished to keep to hold to keep their position, their place. Neither what uh, neither was a was a place uh, left or relinquished for virtue, nor could they they comma crowded uh, avoid mutare the weapons having been hurled by so great a crowd. And it's referring to the weapons, the javelins being thrown at them. However, tormented by so many setbacks, uh, having received many wounds, they resisted. Uh, and then they resisted the enemy, is what that means. And with a large part of the day having been consumed, having already been taken up, um, when they were being attacked um, from dawn, prima luce, first light, or dawn, to uh, oramactawam, the eighth hour. So what this means is from dawn to about mid-afternoon, because in the Roman day there were 12 hours and six was noon, so that means that two hours after that, it's about mid-afternoon, about two o'clock. So, um, 
they brought about nothing which was unworthy of them. Then um, each thigh for Titus Valentius, who in the last year had led as chief uh, centurion, as first centurion, a man of strength and of great authority, and this is a genitive of description, both of these here, of strength, of great authority, um, was pierced with a javelin. So this guy, one of the leaders, has been hit with a javelin. And, or no and in the translation, but Quintus Lucanius of the same order, of the same rank, um, fighting, fighting most bravely, uh, is killed while he rescues his son surrounded by the enemy. His son was surrounded and Lucanius run in, ran in to uh, try and rescue the kid, but it didn't happen. And finally, Lucius Cotta, um, while encouraging all of the cohorts, all of the crowds, um, is wounded, um, and this is a kind of weird phrasing, directly in the mouth, which yeah, if you took it as like an idiom, would mean directly in the face with a slingshot. So thank you for watching this, and I hope this helps.